So, we just woke up. It's like 6.50 Alaska time. But since we've been here for a couple days, it's like pretty nasty. But look at this. Let's go catch some bears. <laughs> Actually, we're late. Like, come on, let's go. <laughs> Actually, have another turn. It's 1.8 South Hare Park Place. Our arrival time is one minute after we're supposed to be there, so we should we should probably hurry. Okay, so we made it to the airport on time, and this is what we're doing. We're we're in Anchorage right now. We're gonna fly from Anchorage to this place called King Salmon which is actually a real place. Then we're gonna get on a tinier plane and go from King Salmon to a lodge near Katmai, which is apparently the best place to hang out and ride bears in Alaska, which is what we're gonna do. We have to get on tiny planes first, so let's do that. Katmai National Park and Preserve is where we're headed today. <laughs> I think he's looking at the camera. Four million Top acres. Top National Park is... Four million acres of plenty of opportunities of wildlife viewing and an extraordinary perspective on the awesome power of volcanoes. The last eruption was 1912. Okay. Hopefully not today. Yeah, we're <laughs> it's a huge plan. Really excited. King Salmon, population 361 people. We Googled it. And we're not done yet, we have another plane, which is a float plane apparently, like landing on water. Adler's really excited about it. Oh yeah. Really excited. Super, super excited. Yeah. The uh, baggage claim broke down on the runway. But luckily our knight in shining armor is about to figure out how to get it started again, but we'll see. Now it's time for plane number two. It is getting colder. It is uncomfortable. <laughs> the plane's on the water. <laughs> So I don't know if you could hear us on the bridge, but you can hear us now. We, we took another like bus a couple miles across this peninsula and now we're here. We're in a part of this Katmai National Park where you have to get a, a whole 20 minute bear school briefing just to be here. And we, this right here is like the lodge. We walked in and we went out to go to the bathroom, which is over here. And I'm kidding you not. Would a bear just go right that way? <laughs> Nearly scared Calvin to death. So the bears are actually so intense, you're only allowed to walk around with water. Any other food of any kind either stays in the lodge or you have to put it in like this building. It's called a food cache. And we walked right by a bear. We were literally carrying like honeycomb and stuff. It's pretty dicey here, not gonna lie.
show up, you eat at the lodge thing, which is dicey enough walking around there. So now, to get to this famous like river to see all the bears, you just kind of walk through the woods after seeing all these bears at a distance. So if you happen to see one, let me know. Right. We'll see if Adler catches it. This is your audition tape for Nat Geo. Awesome. to you. Bears. Almost as lazy as I am. My boy 32 chunk with the snatch. Well, we just watched bears sit for an hour and a half. And as not cool as that sounds, it actually was pretty amazing. Uh, my boy 32 Chonk on the far side caught one fish. And I think we actually got that on film, which is really cool. Apparently, what's so unique about this place is that most of the time, brown bears or grizzly bears are the same species. They, they don't get together that much. And when the salmon are running, which they were yesterday, but they weren't today, uh, there, up to 40 bears will chill there at the same time. They can eat up to 40 salmon in a day. So a really bad day to be a salmon. Actually, today was a pretty good day. Uh, 32 chunk only caught one, that's all we saw. But now we're walking back through the woods on a peninsula that has 800 bears on it. That's like the most unique experience about this place is that I don't think I've ever been more surrounded by predators and yet apparently we're okay as long as we just do that anytime they get near us. What do you think, Adler? I think we're far away from our family, who's all the way up there. That's supposed to run. And just like that, the whole day is over. We've got like five plane rides, seven shuttle rides to get back from this edge of the world, but all the way out in Western Alaska. Totally worth it. I'm exhausted. Waking up at 6.30 in the morning was definitely a bold call, but I think that's our plane calling. If you like the vlog stuff, let me know down in the comments. Uh, this is obviously something we're trying. I have no idea how this has come out, but we saw a lot of bears and Adler looked great the whole time. As always. Okay.